Welcome to theCUBE's Docker main stage coverage here at DockerCon 2022. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're here with CUBE alumni, Aparna Seen, the Senior Director of Product and the Developer Platform at Google Cloud. Aparna, great to see you. It's been a while. How's things? Great to see you, John. Thanks for having me. So I see we've covered a lot about the Google's history in open source. If you go back, I mean, go back generation 2000, it all started and continues to continue to thrive. The Istio, all the different projects you guys are involved, the future of containers and serverless, all there. Give us the update. Why are customers choosing Google Cloud? We're here at DockerCon. What's the big update from Google Cloud's perspective, from a, from a developer perspective? Well, John, uh, Google Cloud has been uh, the early cloud on containers, um, and by all measures, from we can, from what we can see, you know, it is the preferred cloud for container native workloads. Um, I think why are customers choosing cloud? There's a, there's a few different reasons. Um, definitely, one of the reasons is because it is a flexible and open platform, and I think that that is uh, distinctive about Google Cloud. As you mentioned, uh, many, many open source projects coming from Google and Google Cloud in particular over the last 20 years, uh, spanning um, languages, um, you know, obviously uh, the Go programming language, all the way to, of course, Kubernetes, um, and then uh, more recently Istio and uh, Knative, and many more. Uh, Tecton is one of the leading projects as well um, in the CI/CD space. So I think that uh, history is something that really attracts the developer population. It's also very, very important for enterprises that are uh, modernizing and looking to accelerate their uh, developer productivity. So that's been one major reason. I think the second major reason is really the security aspect um, of the developer tool chain and in particular related to open source security as well. And I think the third uh, reason that comes out um, quite frequently when we, when we talk to our enterprise customers is Google Cloud is unique in the multi-cloud space. Um, you know, one of the first, I think probably the first and uh, only cloud provider to have a very strong multi-cloud strategy. Uh, and that stems from the open source roots, but also, you know, uh, bringing more than just uh, compute, bringing many of our data services also uh, to the multi-cloud space. I think that's, those are the three reasons why uh, Developers often choose Google Cloud. Yeah, and you see the multi-cloud also in the distributed computing environment. I mean, multi-cloud is basically distributed computing where you got hyperscalers and then edge is emerging very quickly. Of course, we've talked about that in the past in previous interviews, how security at the edge, software, open source, all coming together. Again, Kubernetes launched by Google, contributed to the open source world that everyone knows that, or may not know that, uh, but, but that's key. Where do you see the container position come in? Because at the end of the day, containers is standard. And now you got Kubernetes and other projects wrapped around it. Where's container technology going in the coming, coming in the future years? Is it going to be invisible? Is it going to be programmable? What's your vision on that? This is an excellent question. And you're exactly right. You're seeing containers become mainstream and some of the latest uh, state, of the, state of the cloud business report, you're seeing you know, 80% of enterprises um, having some form of a container program. And I've been involved in this industry since the very early days. So this is something we've been predicting um, and it is happening even faster than expected. So that's becoming very mainstream, which is extremely exciting for us. Now you ask, you know, what is the future and what is the evolution of it? Um, so, and, and I think uh, this is the right question because um, you're seeing a lot of the future actually on Google Cloud. Um, we're, we've won the uh, Gartner and Forrester quadrants as far as leader quadrants in uh, you know container offerings and that's not just Kubernetes of course uh, uh, Google Kubernetes engine has been has been the leading area but there's a whole host of offerings around that um, in particular I'd like to point out serverless containers with cloud run as well as the entire DevOps pipeline around containers and that's a big topic in the industry right now it brings in uh, security as related to uh, developers, and then of course, uh, you know, providing an automated secure pipeline for DevOps um, as it relates to containers. We've had several announcements and, and, and a lot of success in this space. Uh, I, I can go through some of these things. With Cloud Run, which is our serverless container offering, we've seen uh, 4X growth in adoption and uh, consumption of that service last year in 2021, and that is continuing. Uh, so it's very, very healthy. 
And it is very much the reason customers are adopting it is because they don't need to learn a lot of the underlying infrastructure. They don't need to manage any of the underlying infrastructure. There isn't necessarily a cluster to manage. All of that is taken care of uh, for them and they can focus on their application. They can actually use uh, make use of the benefits of containers such as uh, you know scalability, um, such as um, application awareness uh, and such as a lot of the integrated tool chain for uh, delivery, for application delivery right from your source repository into production and then being able to bring out new versions of your application, test them and then roll over. So this is kind of the new uh, uh, generation, I think. And it's very much tied to the pandemic and what's happening in the world post pandemic where developers are extremely important in developer productivity and, and in fact, developer work-life balance is extremely important. Yeah, and, I, and I think also one of the things that we're seeing to piggyback on that last comment, as well as your other points is developers have always been pulled to the front lines. Even 10 years ago, you saw the trend towards getting more closer to the customer. Now with cloud and edge and with open source being the innovation equation where entrepreneurs are starting projects, companies are starting projects, then they got to get commercialized. So supply chain is a big discussion we're hearing at DockerCon. We're hearing about shifting left for security, data as code. You start to see the developer on the front lines in all aspects of this. And they want, they want security, they want efficiency, they want things in the pipeline. They don't want to have to shift left and then come back again. So again, they start to see this kind of productivity drive the business behavior of the companies because that's their, the value process, that's the application side of cloud native. What's your thoughts for the developers who are doing that? What's in it for them with Google Cloud? Why, why are you important to them? Yeah, and I think uh, John, this is where uh, developers uh, tend to prefer Google Cloud. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is, you know, it, it, we are very much uh, centered around developers, um, you know, my job is, uh, you know, Google Cloud Developer Platform, and uh, our goal is uh, to provide ease of use, the easiest cloud for developers, something that is, uh, you know, really allows them to get their work done quickly. Developers want to be exposed to the best technology. They want to be able to be exposed to it in a way that that integrates into their workflow, that integrates into the tools that they're used to um, and allows them to get their job done quickly. And so a lot of what we're doing in, in the developer space is providing an integrated stack. Um, you know, whether you're building a web application or you're building a mobile application or you're trying to do data analytics, uh, Google Cloud should be a place that you come to that's easy for you to use to get the job done. Um, and, and, and the security aspect is not something that developers like to deal with. They want that to be taken care of that's for cool. them. Um, it, it, troubleshooting as well, you know, uh, troubleshooting and, and upgrading and all of that is something that they want to be taken care of. And so that is something that we're baking into the platform. And you'll see that in a lot of our tooling um, you know, the build process, uh, we're providing Salsa compliance um, and, and build provenance for the security teams to be able to audit, but it's not something that the, that the developer needs to take care of. It's something that is just part of the, the build process built into uh, say uh, Cloud Run or GKE, built into our compute but options for making developers. Making it easy right for them, making it easy, simple, and reduce the steps it takes to get the job done. So great stuff, Parna, great to see you. In the last 30 seconds we have left, just give a quick commercial for what the key projects are in open source you're proud of, that people should pay attention to. We got KubeCon coming up uh, in uh, Europe and North America. What are some of the successes that you like to point out? Well, I really encourage uh, developers to go and take a look, a new look at Go. Go 1.8 adds support for generics. It should open up a brand new set of applications. So I definitely encourage folks to, to take a look at that. Um, of, of course, Istio and Service Mesh, as, as your container footprint grows, you have many microservices looking at Service Mesh, uh, extremely important. And it also allows you to get to that SRE type of um, uh, DevOps model where you know, you're securing your services, you're also uh, being able to monitor and control uh, service usage. And then the last one is of course Tecton, and this is where secure software supply chain comes in. So I'll, I'll mention them. I wish I had 20 minutes. Love chatting with you. We'll catch up with you later on theCUBE. We're here at DockerCon. Thanks for your time. Back to the DockerCon main stage. This is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier. Back to the main stage for more coverage.